Well, let's see what Steve Art say nine. Well, Ezra Miller has attended the premiere of The Flash, and he has spoken. Now, they said that he would not speak, but um, he did give an interview to the movie report. Now, I'm not sure exactly who they are. Um, they didn't talk about his personal life. They just talked about The Flash and the production and, you know, just talking about the other um, people involved. Um, but he did actually speak to at least one... Um, I don't know if they're, if they're media or if they are um, a website or what, but um, yeah, so there is video of him talking at the premiere about the film. Um, but um, on the red carpet, they just seem to be taking photos, you know, lining up, you know, the, the cast, the usual sort of stuff. But so far as Ezra goes, a lot of people are reporting about it, and um, I obviously he has mental health issues and he was running amok um, for a while there. But um, did he do all the things he's accused of? I don't believe so. Um, a lot of homophobic people will absolutely um, witch hunt. You know, that's, they just see that as part of dealing with, with you know, the, the, the gay community is to basically um, make up stories and just vilify them any way possible to justify their prejudice and so forth. I've seen it happen a million times. So I think a lot of, a lot of the stories about Ezra running amok and all, all these... Um, grooming stories and stuff like that, and accusations, I think are just people trying to capitalise on the fact that he is a problematic actor, basically, that he was um, had medical problems, health problems, and he was getting into trouble. But um, I don't think that trouble is anywhere, anywhere near what um, th these people accused him of. So um, I, I feel like he's... M I can't say innocent, because obviously he was running amok for a while there, and there's video of him being crazy with the police and stuff like that, you know, all that did happen, I'm sure. But um, the other stuff, that he's some sort of weird cult leader or something, grooming 12-year-olds or something, I don't really believe any of that was happening. Um, I don't know, but I don't believe it because it's just too... It's just too in line with all the propaganda and everything that's that's being, you know, vomited out about gay people and trans people and, you know, because he's a they-them, um, they're just coming after... I've been calling him him. I have. I, I've been calling them him the whole time. It wasn't deliberate. I just. It's hard to remember this stuff. Um, so yeah. And now, for 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 a villain, because he's a hero, but yet um, he's sort of having these problems um, in the media um, and um, with the law. Um, I can't say his name. Um, Tenor Coretta. I can't say his name. I can't pronounce it. Um, Namor from Black Panther 2. He's been accused of SA, um, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and like um, um, the other actor from Marvel, the other villain, um, whose name I suddenly blanked out on, um, um, Majors, what's his first name? Majors, something Majors. Um, it seems to be very different though. In that case, it was an incident with um, a girlfriend that he, who then broke up with and conflicting ideas and um, stories and the idea that the police were sort of um, um, <laughs> grooming her to um, basically incriminate him and so forth. There's a lot of <sighs> claiming of evidence and video and proof and... Some of it really, it's just a mess. Whereas um, Jonathan Majors, I think his name is Jonathan Majors. But um, Nemour is a little different where it was a woman that he had dated and the relationship had ended and there was no reports during the, the um, relationship of anything out of the ordinary and, and they seemed fine. Um, and he seems to claim that he can prove through friends and, and, and public appearances that they had a healthy relationship but then after they broke up, she started to attack him. Um, and he apparently was putting together a defence because she had been attacking him subtly in media and that, but she did eventually come out and make accusations against him. So I don't know about, about Jonathan Majors. Um, it looks like he might not have done what he was accused of, um, but there definitely was some... some um, issues there with that relationship, there were problems, they may have been more on the side of um, the girlfriend, but um, it's unclear. Whereas um, 
Nimor definitely, they did um, have a healthy relationship. It did end, um, and then all this happens. So it's a little bit of a different dynamic, um, and I'm not sure. Ezra, like I said, I'm sure it's a witch hunt, and people are just coming forward with ridiculous stories because they, A, hate gay people and want to, um, you know, vilify them. And also they know that because people do hate gay people and are vilifying them, that they're going to get some traction with it and they might get some paid interviews and stuff like that. So, And then there's also the stuff he actually did when he was running amok because he was untreated with mental illness. So it's all a bit of a mess. And I just wanted to comment on it all and just also to state that Ezra, Ezra did appear at the red carpet and he did speak to at least one Hollywood reporter slash website slash something. So the reports that he would not speak are not entirely true, but he didn't do like a general press, you know, conference where he just talked to anyone, everyone and answered any and all questions because they just would have asked personal questions, which they didn't address. So I'm going to go.